Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect with Carmen Shepard. We are on the Citadel. Uh, in about an hour, we're scheduled to meet with the Council for this hearing where they will investigate our charges that Saren is a traitor and needs to have his Spectre status revoked. But until then, Carmen, this is our first time on the Citadel going to be exploring around and checking this place out. Uh, I was wondering if I should talk to Executor Palin over here. The thing about Executor Palin is he like, nobody should be above the law. Everybody should have to follow the law. And I, th I don't know that Carmen would necessarily disagree with that, but I think Carmen, she doesn't can't express it quite right. I don't know if Shepard can express it the way I want Carmen to, but that there may be perhaps are circumstances that you have to, in order to accomplish something, the greater good, uh, you might have to break the law. Uh, except you know, well, we can all think of the civil rights movement and, and civil disobedience and things like that. Uh, but that's not what Carmen's thinking about, <laughs> which was the civil rights movement, of course, was a nonviolent movement at all. Uh, nonviolent movement, so <laughs> that's not what Carmen's thinking. Uh, but there is another reason to talk to Executor Powell, and that is if you don't talk to him before going up to the council, when you uh, meet Garrus and Palin's talking to him, your investigation's over, Garrus. You can ask, who's that? I want to know if you get that dialogue option. I don't think you do, but let's find out by talking to Executor Palin so that when we go meet Gar Garrus, see if that dialogue option is available. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Oh, this is the same guy that voices Lahirix on, uh, or whatever that guy's name is, on, uh, Novaria. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. <laughs> Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Should we go that way? Yeah, I think Carmen's a little bit thinking, yeah, that is... We, we sometimes you have to sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe 
I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. And she finally got to say, yeah, okay, I'm not totally extreme. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. You too. can't tell the aliens from the animals. Big place. Yeah, big place. That's 
nothing. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times? But why? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. It's just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Not to mention insane. Yes, let's set up our galactic government at a place where we know nothing at all about how the place runs. And we have to run on, rely on these bugs who we don't even know what they're doing, can't communicate with, to run the place for us. Yeah, that's, uh, you guys are... The Asari and the Slurians have proved they're monumentally stupid. <laughs> Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman, a woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I've lost the ability to make an appointment. I can't make an appointment now. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Butt shot. Bioware and their butt shots. There's the precursor to... Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. That's the precursor to Miranda there. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. Don't get me wrong. I've only heard good things about the consort. It's just... The unknown forces us out of our comfort zone. It forces us to be vulnerable. Exactly. That's just what I was thinking. Good. Then we are ready to begin. Close enough. This is about these Asari, and that's close enough. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Are you and Arya like twins or what? You wanted to speak with me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. 
If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. That little hug there is so weird. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Hard to believe the Krogan were once seen as the saviors of the galaxy. If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right? I guess. Why not? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. I mean, she knows a little bit about history. She's been to school. She's not done. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I mean, you just didn't have to go into... What are the Krogan Rebellions? What are the Rachni Wars? I mean, it's stuff she would have learned in school. Human, this one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place have oh, referred said to that. It as Delan. Please take time to examine the no, fine goods no, it has no, for no, purchase. No, no, no. I think I'll be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Well, they shouldn't have put that in. It just repeats what we already got. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Bar Lavon. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. 
When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the Council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I should go. Well, it's true. We should go. This episode's gone on for 22 minutes, 23 minutes. So, we should go. Still got a little bit of time before we meet with the council, so when we come back, we'll continue to explore, and then we'll head on up to the council. But until then, have a nice day.